in Jesus excellent name in Jesus glorious name the word of God to us this month is godliness is profitable unto all things how many things all things. all things anywhere you inject godliness blessings come and by the grace of God we'll be looking at godliness in power godliness in powers for noiseless breakthroughs that will be the teaching series godliness in powers for noiseless breakthroughs so we'll be looking at part 1a in this first service and we'll build up that way throughout the day it's important to bring to our mind that heaven is the homecoming for all overcomers in the kingdom Revelation chapter 2 verse 7 the Bible says he that had an ear to hear let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches to him that overcometh will I give to eat the tree of life which is the means of the paradise of God the same Revelation 2 26 and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will I give power over the nations why is this so This is because there is a fierce battle between against sin. There's a fierce battle against sin over the life of every child of God. If there's anything the devil will want to stop us with, it is sin. No wonder the Bible commands that we should watch and pray lest we enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26, verse 41. The truth is that Temptation is not sin. But in as much as in the flesh here, you face temptation. Jesus himself was tempted in all things without sin, which is also possible that you can overcome. The Bible told us to be sober and to be vigilant because our adversary the devil is roaring as a roaring lion is walking about looking for who to devour. He will not see you and I. Please know that these battles we are talking about, they are not physical battles. There is no day the tempter will give you notice that I'm coming to tempt you. It's not, spirit, it's not natural battle, it's spiritual. Ephesians 6, 12, 2, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Though there are forces that are determined to pull you and I down, but we too must be determined never to be pulled down. There is no temptation that cannot be overcome. Every temptation of sin is overcomable. First Corinthians 10 13. There had no temptation taking you, which is not common to man, but God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted more than you are able, but with the same temptation, you will make a word of escape that you may be able to bear it. So if God says, be a prophet as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect, which means it's possible for you and I to walk into perfection. Overcomers are ordained to reign in life. And we have seen people like Joseph who overcame. At the end of the day, he ruled in a strange land. We have seen testimonies of Abraham, Daniel, Paul, among others who overcame and they were enthroned you will be enthroned in jesus mighty name Amen. paul said in first Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 10 ye are witnesses and god also how holily and justly and unblameably we have behaved ourselves among you that believe don't tell me god is your witness men should also be your witness we are with ye are witnesses and god also how holily and justly and unblameably we have behaved ourselves none of us will be found in the trap of sin in jesus name Amen. god will establish you in jesus mighty name Amen. that's why the, by the grace of god we're going to be looking this month it's looking at forces that empower believers for all round breakthroughs and today in this teaching we're going to be focusing on godliness empowers believers for all round breakthrough to god alone be the glory in Jesus' name. 
Never also forget that this day is our showers of blessing service. And the showers will be coming down in tolerance in Jesus' name. In Jesus' excellent name. In Jesus' glorious name. The word of God to us this month is godliness is profitable unto all things. How many things? All things. All things. Anywhere you inject godliness, blessings come. And by the grace of God, we'll be looking at godliness in power. Godliness in powers for noiseless breakthroughs. That will be the teaching series. Godliness in powers for noiseless breakthroughs. So we'll be looking at part 1A in this first service. And we'll build up that way throughout the day. It's important to bring to our mind that heaven is the homecoming for all overcomers in the kingdom. Revelation chapter 2 verse 7, the Bible says, He that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. The same Revelation 2 26, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works, Unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Why is this so? This is because there is a fierce battle between against sin. There's a fierce battle against sin over the life of every child of God. If there's anything the devil will want to stop us with, it is sin. No wonder the Bible commands that we should watch and pray lest we enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26, verse 41. The truth is that temptation is not sin. But in as much as in the flesh here, you face temptation. Jesus himself was tempted in all things without sin, which is also possible that you can overcome. The Bible told us to be sober and to be vigilant because our adversary, the devil, is roaring as a roaring lion, is walking about looking for who to devour. He will not see you and I. Please know that these battles we are talking about they are not physical battles. There is no day the tempter will give you notice that I'm coming to tempt you. It's not spirit, it's just not natural battle, it's spiritual. Ephesians 6, 12, 2, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Though there are forces that are determined to pull you and I down, but we too must be determined never to be pulled down. There is no temptation that cannot be overcome. Every temptation of sin is overcomable. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. There had no temptation taking you, which is not common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted more than you are able. But with the same temptation, you will make a word of escape that you may be able to bear it. So if God says, be a perfect as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect, which means it's possible for you and I to walk into perfection. Overcomers are ordained to reign in life. And we have seen people like Joseph who overcame at the end of the day he ruled in a strange land. We have seen testimonies of Abraham, Daniel, Paul, among others who overcame and they were enthroned. You will be enthroned in Jesus' mighty name. Paul said in 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 10, Ye are witnesses and God also. How holily and justly and unblameably we have behaved ourselves among you that believe. Don't tell me God is your witness. Men should also be your witness. We are wit ye are witnesses and God also. How holily and justly and unblameably we have behaved ourselves. None of us will be found in the trap of sin in Jesus' name. Amen. God will establish you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. That's why... The, by the grace of God, we're going to be looking this month, looking at forces that empower believers for all round breakthroughs. And today, in this teaching, we're going to be focusing on godliness 
empowers believers for all round breakthrough. To God alone be the glory in Jesus' name. Never also forget that this day is our showers of blessing service. And the showers will be coming down in torrents in Jesus' name. Now hear this. This is also Priscilla Encounter Service. We have instruction that will do the Priscilla Encounter Service on, you know, at the same time. So we'll not wait till after the third service to do it. So whatever others are going to Shiloh to encounter, God will give you as a Priscilla in testimony here in Jesus' name. Come with me to Ezekiel 34, 25 to 29, as I take my test this morning. Ezekiel 34. 25 to 29. Ezekiel 34, 25 to 13, 29. And I will make with them a covenant of peace. And I will cause the evil beast to cease out of the land. No evil beast will remain in this land. Amen. Every evil beast of Abia State will cast them out. Amen. And they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause the, the shower to come down in his season. There shall be showers of blessing. And the tree of the field shall yield her fruits. And the earth shall yield her increase. They shall be safe in their land. And shall know that I am the Lord when I have broken the bounds of their yoke. And deliver them out of the hand of those that sap themselves of them. And they shall no more be a prey to the hidden. Neither shall the beasts of the land devour them. But they shall dwell safely. And none shall make them afraid. And I will raise up for them a plant of renown. And they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land. Neither shall neither bear the shame of the hidden anymore. Hear me by these showers of blessing service, you will not bear any shame anymore. Amen. You will no longer be consumed with hunger in the land. Amen. God of heaven will be raising you to higher height in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not be a prey to the hidden in the name of Jesus. Amen. The evil beasts of the land will not consume you. Amen. What consume others, what consume the business of others, what eat up the children of others will not eat up your own in the name of Jesus. You will dwell in this land safely and you will succeed in this land. This land will yield an increase to you. Your business will bear fruits. Your career will bear fruits. In the name of Jesus. And more and over, you will enjoy showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. God cannot lie. And if he cannot lie, what you must expect today is showers of blessing. And that blessing will speak all the days of your life and beyond. In the name of Jesus. What do we mean by blessing? Blessing simply means heaven's benevolence, decreed, release, proclaim, or pronounce upon a man a thing or a place. Blessings are heaven's benevolence, decreed, pronounce, release, proclaim upon a man a thing or a place you can't question god when god wants to bless you can't question him remember it's not of him that will it it's not of him that run it it's of the lord that showed mercy for i will have mercy on whom i will have compassion i'll have mercy on whom i'll have mercy and i'll have compassion on whom i'll have compassion so god is said to bless you today and no one can stop it. Hear this. The blessings of God turn causes to blessing. And I'm going to announce to someone here today, and that's why I'm taking my time, that the every cause is going to turn to a blessing. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 25, 23 verse 5. Nevertheless, which means notwithstanding, come what may, however, the Lord thy God would not hearken unto Balaam, but the Lord thy God turned the curse into a blessing unto thee, because the Lord thy God loved thee. Say with me, I'm loved by God. 
<laughs> if you are sure you are loved by God, then know that any cause they throw at you, God will turn into a blessing. Say, so we are blessed. I'm exceedingly blessed. Oh, blessings are in levels. God saw Abraham and he said, I will bless you and I will make your name great. I like that. But when I saw Isaac, I discovered that blessing is in level. Isaac was greatly blessed. That's better than blessing. And I saw, I was claiming that one out. I saw, saw Jacob. Jacob was exceedingly blessed. So I don't know the level where you are in blessing today. God will change your level of blessing. By this showers of blessing, God will change your level of blessing. Amen. Blessings put causes on a reverse. A man was called Reuben, caused by the father, the day of blessing. May somebody not be angry with you the day of blessing. Amen. Somebody didn't understand that. Amen. Jacob called his children to bless them in Genesis 29. All his children, and he began to bless, and he called the first son Reuben. <laughs> you are my, my, you are my son, the excellency of my power. But because you defied my bed, you went into my concubine. He said, "Look, you will not excel. You are stable like water. You will not excel. That is not blessing, no." You know, there are different kinds of people in this world. Anytime you see somebody who tells you the truth, I appreciate the person. You know, you know some people don't like somebody talking to them. They like to be left alone. If you are left alone, you, 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 you enter into calamity. God forbid. Now, hear this. This man committed this error. Jacob kept quiet until the day he needed the blessing. He opened up. May the mercy of God cover your errors. May his grace color your efforts. Amen. May you not meet somebody like Jacob that will keep you quiet until the day you need it most. The day of promotion. The day they will not whisper something. That man, in the get as they do. <laughs> That's enough to spoil it. He kept quiet. I need Reuben carry this. But one day a man rose called Moses. And Moses in Deuteronomy 3 verse 6 look at Reuben and turn the cause to a blessing. He said, Reuben, you shall not die, you shall live. Your children shall not be few. That's a blessing from a spiritual father. Now hear me. The blessing of a spiritual father is stronger than the cause of a natural father. <laughs> And I have commandment to bless you here today. You'll be blessed. Amen. Blessings swallow curses. Numbers 23 verse 20. Behold, I have received a commandment to bless, and he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. The blessings of God are irreversible. What are the characteristics of blessings? Number one, <laughs> blessing makes one indestructible. Blessing makes one indestructible. Isaiah 65 verse 8, Thus said the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one said, destroy it not. For a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servants sake that I may not destroy them. That's why the brothers of Joseph could not destroy him. Potiphar's house could not destroy him. The prison couldn't destroy him. He has to get to the palace. Blessing makes one indestructible. By the showers of blessing coming upon you today, no man, no evil shall be able to destroy you. Amen. Every destiny destroyer shall not see you. Amen. Both internal and external destiny destroyers, they will not come near your dwelling. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, 
The blessing of God puts causes on a reverse. Number 23, verse 8. I cannot cause who God has blessed. Surely there is no judgment against Jacob, no divination against Israel, but it shall be said, see what the Lord has done. Number 23, verse 23. Well, we read earlier, the number 23, verse 5. It said, God turned the course of Balaam into a blessing. Balaam will come. He changed position different times. He will come to the east, to the west, to the north. He will say, I call, 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 bless you. <laughs> Balaam said, hey, man, I hired you to cause me these people. If you can't cause them, don't bless them. He said, I cannot cause who God has blessed. When you are blessed, you become uncausable. People don't understand. I will tell you what blessing is. You know, you know, okay, let me just put that. Number three now. Before I forget it. Number three. Blessings are invisible. Blessings are what? You can't see blessing with your physical eye, but you can't deny the product, the, the, the byproducts. You can't see it. It's just like words. Can you see words? But you know the effect of words, whether negative or positive. Is that, you understand? Mm -hmm. When somebody says you are blessed, you are happy. When somebody calls you, you are angry. The sense that people have said to you, it's better they flog you than they said it. Because any time you remember, you do the anniversary of that word. Say, this is 1982. This is what he said to me. You start crying without anybody beating you. Free of charge. Just remember what somebody said. Now hear this. Blessings are conveyed by words. And they are invisible. The words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. You don't see blessing, but you can't deny the effects. Many a time, what people term blessing, yes, they are good. Car, house, land, good wine, they are, yes, they are effects. But the blessing is conveyed, is pronounced, is decreed. You cannot, you cannot see the effects as some of those things we think that are blessings. That's why, if you take those things away, if the man is blessed, they will come back. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Mm. Take them away. Take the thing. They, look at Job. They destroy the, the, the business and all that. They will come back because of the blessing. I hope somebody gets what I'm talking about now. What are the characteristics of blessing? Number four now. Blessings make whatever the carrier does to be prosperous, to be fruitful. And whatever he doeth shall prosper. It is blessing that makes it so. Look at it. Blessed is the man. To be blessed means a power to succeed, a power to prosper, a power to advance, a power to be fruitful. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the godly, nor stands in the way of the, the sinner, nor sit at the seat of the comfort, but he meditates on the law of the Lord day and night. He is like a tree planted by the waters that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. He leaves us not wither. And whatsoever he doeth. That's the blessed man. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Shall be fruitful. Whatsoever he doeth. So blessing makes what to do to be meaningful. To be fruitful. To be prosperous. Look at Joseph. In the house of Potiphar, a slave, what he did was fruitful. In the prison, the same. In Pharaoh's house, the same. So if things are not going well, then you check, you check, you check. How do I connect a blessing?
we have in our vicinity here Enogo Electric Distribution Company. Three of us. That's Enogo Disco. Now, it doesn't matter how close you are to the office of EEs, DC. If you are not connected to their distribution line, you will never have light through a force. As if that kind of light, you can get by generator, you understand? But if it's electric, um, from the electric com distribution company, you can get. I hope you are getting what I'm talking about. The same way, if you are not connected, you can't collect blessing. Many people don't know how to connect to collect blessing. So one of the ways you can have access to blessing is through heaven's proclaimed blessing. If heaven proclaims to bless, you'll be blessed. Number two is through parental blessing. If your parents, both spiritual and natural, bless you, you are blessed. And that's why we must be very, very careful. Some people say, my, my father is a witch, my mother is a witch. Look for how to collect blessing from them. What they say to you matters. One of the promise of the scriptures or one of the commandments with the promise is that you honor your father and your mother. Ephesians 6, 1 to 3 that he may be well with you. To be well means all round prosperity, shalom, peace, goodness. That you may live long on the earth. So that even the blessing of longevity come from there. I plead with you, <laughs> if your parents are still alive, before they die, see how to collect blessing from them. If they are dead, oh, look for somebody you can use as your father, your mother. And do what you're supposed to do or what you're supposed to be doing. And then the blessing come upon you. Many a time we are Pentecostals who so neglect some of these things. How will your father be suffering in the village and you are throwing party in town? They don't need to curse you. If they say, Kai, this is my son, Uche. Kai, God. It's enough to finish the person. Don't tell me he's a witch, he's a wizard. You know, there are some choices you cannot make. You can't make the choice of who should be your father, who should be your mother, the village you should come from, who should be your sibling. God, did it, those are, I wrote in my book, Making Yourself Marketable. Those are divine choices. There are choices God made for you. And some people try to change those choices God made for them instead of aligning with them. Now, hear this. You never, if I ask you now who should be your father, you say Donald Trump. God never gave you the opportunity. He said, come out from one place. There, one year, I hear Kedia. Just come from there. Just. You can't do anything about that. But you can look for how to provoke parental blessing. Genesis 27. We saw the power, the efficacy, the potency of parental blessing. When Jacob brought the venison, even though in deception, the father blessed him. Esau came back and said, my father bless me also. He said, there is no blessing remaining. The only blessing is that serve your brother. But when you are strong, you cannot free yourself. <laughs> he that brings the venison takes the blessing. Hear this. Don't forget it. If somebody says to you, there are some 
God bless you. It may be greeting. That's blessing of the mouth. That's blessing of the heart. God bless you can be greeting. God bless you is different. Mm. That it may be well with you. And this man called Isaac looked at Jacob. He said, My son. You will eat of the fatness of the earth and the dews of heaven. Your brethren shall serve you. <laughs> you will need such blessings from your parents. Before my grandfather died at 104, sometimes I'll bless him. It may not be much, 2,000, 500. It may not be much. He'll be praying for you. My son, you will rule Nigeria. <laughs> you will build up stair. You will be proclaiming blessing. One day, my grandmother, before he died at 102, prayed for me. That prayer, no amount of money can buy it. And you cannot kill me because of that prayer. She said, how much? 2,000 Christian notes. Mama, this is for you. And she said, I don't know how to, English cannot capture it. There is no English word that can capture it. I only try to. You understand? You know what they said? Mwami gade. Mwami gade. Mwami gade. End of prayer. Let me try to translate it to English. I will try. But no English word can. He said, my son, you'll be established. Your wife established. Your children established. End of prayer. And when I analyze it, I discover everything I needed is inside the prayer. <laughs> Glory to God. So that is one way to get blessed. That's one way. You can also get blessed by priestly proclamation. And that's what we are here to do. Many don't have any teaching priests. They don't have anybody over their head. They may be in church, but they are never in touch. In Numbers 6, 23 to 27, God spoke to Moses. He said, speak to the children. This, this is how I bless them. He said, speak to them. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord keep you. May the light of his countenance shine upon you. He said, you put your name, my name upon their forehead and I will bless them. You need somebody to proclaim blessing upon you. And that's why when you are in church, when blessings are proclaimed, don't play with them. Don't play with them. Many have been sharing such testimony because God confirmed the word of his servant. Um, God confirmed the word of his servant. So you can confirm such in your life. I've told us here before that the spiritual father blessing is stronger than the natural father's blessing. Quickly, how do I position myself, therefore, for this blessing? In the kingdom of God, how? Number one, through kingdom service. Kingdom service. Through what? Be involved. Be involved in kingdom service. Deuteronomy, Exodus 23, 25 to 26. You shall serve the Lord your God. He bless your water and bless your bread. He take away sickness from the midst of thee. Will not allow you to cast your young to be barren in the land. The number of your days he will fulfill. Look at it. Five solid blessings attached to one word. Serve. Kingdom service. Somebody is cleaning the church here in sanctuary. You are singing. You are, you are mocking them. This choir. They know Sabi sing. And you, you that is Sabi sing. You know if you go sing. You look at the floor. This place is very dirty. What are you doing? Don't be a bench warmer in church, sir. Seek you for the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Number two, obedience, 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 obedience. If you are not obedient, you will not eat the good of the land. If you are not willing, you will not eat the good of the land. Blessings come through obedience. Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 2. 
you hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God and his commandment which I command you this day, the Lord your God will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. And this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. Look at those blessings, read from 1 to 13. You see, every blessing you need in this world is there. By obedience. Abraham, by obedience, got it. <laughs> Number three, company with the blessed. Associate with the blessed. He that walks with the wise shall be wise. The companion of fools shall be destroyed. Proverbs 13, verse 2. So the same way, when you are company with the blessed, you are blessed. You are blessed with the same faithful Abraham. You are blessed. You are blessed. I tell people here who you follow determines what follows you. If you follow the blessed, you'll be blessed. If you follow who? The blessed, you'll be blessed. Now look at this. The same proverb 1. Verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the castle of the godly. Now Sunday in this. What are they saying now? Now sit down at the seat of the comfort. So who you walk with, who you stand with, who you sit with matters. But he delights in the law of the law and he may on it day and night. He said this man is like the tree planted by the water that bringeth forth his fruit in season and his leaves does not wither. And whatever he doeth shall prosper. Bless him. When Saul came to the midst of the prophet, he began to prophesy. <laughs> he began to prophesy. Who you follow determines what follows you. Genesis 13, verse 5. And Lord also that followed Abraham have plenty of gold, plenty of silver, plenty of cats. Lot was not called just by following Abraham. And that's my, this scripture is for me. Is that, I don't know if it's for you, but it's for me. Anytime things are hard for me, I will just remind God, Lot also that followed Abraham. God, if I'm serving here, your servant, whatever he enjoy, me too, I will enjoy it. Hear me, it may not be the same volume because somebody will be saying, hey, 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 how, when will you be like Bishop Boye de Bo? It may not be the same volume, but you can see the line. One day, he told us something. In the meeting, some senior pastor's meeting, that he forgot one million check in his pocket. You will hear in the hall. I said to myself, if this man can forget one million, God, I need to be forgetting money in my pocket. <laughs> I'm sincere to you. Instead of murmuring, God, I like this kind of a thing. Lord also that followed Abraham. And one day, about 10 years ago, I took my clothes to dry cleaners and they brought some money back. Say, sir, we saw this in your pocket. I was trying to thank God for this good dry cleaner. God reminded me, but you say you want to be forgetting money in your pocket. <laughs> Ask me how much? 2,500 naira. <laughs> 2,500. Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. Forgetting is forgetting. What a one million? Of 2,500. <laughs> Forgetting is what? Forgetting. How many since in that time I started forgetting money in my pocket? He has not reached 1 million. No. But one day, too, my wife saw in my pocket. He said, I saw the 20,000. I don't know what happened. I've forgotten. I didn't know I have 20,000 in my pocket. It's growing. One day, 1 million. If all of you pray, agreement pray, I won't forget one million now in my pocket. But one day, it will reach like that. Lord also, that followed Abraham, 
you have plenty of gold, plenty of silver. Don't follow the blessed, you'll be blessed. One day, my mentor, Bishop Abioye, told me something. He said, My son, there is no magic to greatness. Identify the steps of the great and follow it. You too will become great. Just find out what they're doing. And that's why today I study my spiritual parents to find out what they're doing. And as I'm doing what they're doing, it may not be the same size, sir, but you can see the line. May God give us understanding. In Jesus' glorious name, you will be blessed. You will be blessed. You will be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, of for now, one major way to be blessed is what we are dealing with this month. Walking in righteousness. Walking in what? God blesses the righteous. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. It shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Go and study the palm tree. You discover everything about the palm tree blessed. Those that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in his court. They shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is upright. He's my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. God will never forget your righteousness. No. It attracts him as a matter of fact to bless you. Psalm 92, 12 to 15, we have just seen. That's why we must destroy the forces of unrighteousness. We must do what? Destroy the forces of unrighteousness. Those are the things keeping you down. When God was about to bless Israel, the iniquity of Abraham was discovered. He removed his hand. Hosea 7, 1 to 2. Unrighteousness, sin, iniquity, hinders our blessing. As Adam and Eve, when you see them, they were driven out of Garden of Eden with three swimming pools <laughs> because of unrighteousness. So let's quickly see the forces of ungodliness we must have to overcome. Because some of these forces are stronger than you. But you need the help of the Holy Ghost to overcome them. Number one force we need to overcome is the force of unclean spirit. Say with me, unclean spirit. They vomit certain things upon people and they start doing things they don't like. They may not like doing it. Ask somebody who is smoking now, he may not like it, but he doesn't know why he's going back again. He knows so he doesn't want to drink again. He has said, I will not drink again. I'm born again. But any time, he knows the street they used to say, that's where he wants to pass. And as a person, he see them doing their fellowship, he will see me looking at them. And before you know it, one day as a person, they say, bro, you know they come again. Stop now. May you take one bottle now. He say, I'm born again. He say, Abba. The Bible says, drink small for your stomach's sake now. For stomach's sake, take small. And now relax. Before you know it, go in, go in, go. There are forces that are keeping people bound in unrighteousness. Matthew 10, 1. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. Say with me, I have the power. To cast out unclean spirit. Now, please don't be angry. Oh. Just check your own life because most times the devil uses the things you are used to to tempt you. If you are not drinking before, he will use drink it. Oh. If you are not humanizing or humanizing before, he <laughs> will use such. Why are you lazy? Do you? you know, before we used to think that it's only humanizing. There are humanizers today. Is what you, you are you that's what you use that's what you use. So fight every unclean spirit. You have the power now as a child of God to cast them out. Joshua the high priest, the high priest uh, was being with head frustrated by the devil. 
by his right hand of power. He want to rise. The forces will keep him down until God sent an angel and changed his garments. Joshua chapter 3, 1 to 5. Now hear me. Somebody is living here today with a change of garment. Yeah. That thing that the devil used to vomit on you before you know it, you that used to be quiet, you start being angry with everything. Your wife talk, your husband talk, anybody talk. In the face, you look so gentle, as if you can't hold a fly. But before you know it, slap. You may cry. Have you not seen people like that before? You tell them they start crying. I don't know what came over me. You let me. Please forgive me. Tomorrow, they are back to it. But today, every activity of uncleanliness, they are being destroyed in Jesus' name. These forces make people unclean thereby organizing misfortune for them and denying them good. When good thing is about to come, when certain things is diverted, some are involved in masturbation. All manner of things. I met a young man from secondary school, class two, then he started it for over 17 years. But when he came to my office to pray, that yoke was broken, it was on the floor rolling, and before you know it. Today he's a pastor. That yoke of masturbation broke. I've seen several such. I don't know what the devil is using to hold you bound. Anytime you want to raise your head, that thing brings you down. You confess, and before you know it, you are back there. That activity of unclean spirit is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. That which I've been denying your blessing is destroyed in the name of Jesus. He said, I vow, I vow in the name of Jesus. New Year resolutions. Every January 5, plenty. I never go gossip again. I never go lie again. I never go cheat again. Before you know it, the following day. The new year. The new year. That church self. Uh, uh, this one. That one. He <laughs> will go back and kneel down and confess. And before the following money, that's what he's starting with. Every activity of unclean spirits, I command such to be destroyed. Number two spirit you need to fight is the spirit of bondage. Look at the name, spirit of bondage. That is what is bound in keeping you in bondage. So free yourself. Spirit of bondage. Romans 1 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. The spirit of bondage makes you to do the things that are not convenient. The good things to help you displease God. In other words, to make God angry with you. Romans 8 15. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption whereby you cry, Abba, Father. Fear, for instance, is the spirit of bondage. You want to take steps to write professional exam. You say, hey, Has anybody passed it in your village before? Don't try it. Some they start driving like this now, small thing. They just see car coming. They say, I'm not going to drive again. You go to interview, they see you go. Everything they read. <laughs> just to welcome, what is your name? <laughs> name is not, not B1. Obi. <laughs> They start speaking bad grammar because of fear. Some have seen who to marry now, not that they didn't see you. They've seen, correct. God have told you over the night. He rehearsed the thing, manifesto in the night. This is how we're going to deliver it to Sister Agnes. And you do it there, you see Sister Agnes. He forgets. He says, Sister Agnes, he gets on to go discuss here. Yeah? Even now, as Sister Agnes, they test and that's the way you say we go discuss. What we go discuss is they're wrong. You can't tell somebody I want to marry you. As simple as that is. Fear. Some say to share testimony here is a problem. It's self deliberate. They will not. That's why some have good testimonies here. They are not coming to share it. Don't hold your testimony. Let God not hold your blessing. Uh, because he's afraid. Hey, they will kill me if I share this testimony. Hey, if they look at me now, wow. They will just walk around me. Stand here. Who am I? Where is my village? <laughs> 
We deliver from every spirit of bondage in the name of Jesus. Be delivered from every spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Some can't go to their village. They can't build a house. They're afraid. They go in the night. They pack their car. They say, people push it for me. It's more small. Let them go. God will give us understanding. Spirit of bondage. Somebody say, my own is not like this. How about that malice? How about that offense? How about that slandering? That's one of the things God hates. Spoiling people's name. It's one of the six things God hates. Don't say I'm in church. Oh. One day in Abo, somebody came and shared testimony. He was in one of the dancing group. Oh. For seven years, he still smoked in their hand. Until one day, I was speaking in church, and I said, I thought something on the power of sacrifice. I said, you can't get to where you're going until you leave what you're holding to take what God is offering to you. <laughs> the power of sacrifice, that's what broke that bondage. He said, how long will I have been, I've been smoking like this since now? Seven years, I'm in church, I dance every day, and life is not getting better. I must leave this thing so that we'll get to where I'm going. That's how the yoke of smoking in the hand was broken. To, if you see him, you will know that God has answered because you see him becoming fatter and refreshed. Every spirit of bondage I command it to be broken Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So quickly as we begin to random, how do I overcome ungodliness? How do I overcome ungodliness? Number one, we must propose to live godly life. You must propose in your heart to live a godly life. It's a decision you have to make. It's a choice you have to make. You see, when you make your own decision, when you make your choice, the devil becomes helpless. When the prodigal son said, I don't want to continue in servitude and in mockery again, the devil couldn't stop it. When you decide that I will no longer be in bondage, I will no longer suffer uncleanliness, you will be free. Daniel 1 8. But Daniel proposed in his heart that he will not defy himself with a portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested the prince of the Enoch that he might not defy himself. He proposed in his heart and he was able to succeed. Was able to succeed even in a strange land. Look at those, the parents were not there, the father, the mother, not there. But they proposed in their heart not to defy themselves, and they didn't defy themselves. And when they tested them, remember later, they were far better than their mates. Number two, you must watch and pray to stay godly. Watch and pray to stay godly. There are two things there. Watch, number one. Number two, pray. Some people are praying, they are not watching. Some are watching, they are not praying. Is the two. Watch and pray. Matthew 26, 41. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. If you don't want to fall, pray. If you don't want to fail, pray. If you don't want to faint, pray. Men ought always to pray and not faint. Pray. Anything that makes you to become prayerless makes you weak and makes you vulnerable to the temptation of the devil. Look to the 2 verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as weak. But you know, say what? I pray for you that you fail not. So, please pray. Let me tell you number pray. pray. What are the benefits of a godly life? Number one is divine favor. When you live a godly life, you enjoy the favor of God. And we cannot overemphasize the place of favor. Everything good answers to you through favor. Favor qualified, unqualified. Psalm 5, verse 12. For thou, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor with thou encompass him as with a shield. 
So when the favor in your life is not working, or it's not, you are not seeing it, check, check your righteousness. Check your godliness is profitable unto all things, including favor. You you enjoy favor. Even in a strange land, Joseph was well favored. Well favored. In prison, well favored. So when you begin to operate in godliness, enjoy favor before God and before man. Number two, enjoy divine health. Divine health. In Mark 2, 1 to 12, remember the story of that man that was paralyzed and was brought to Jesus and they opened the roof and all that. Verse 5, when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the past, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Which means it may have been sin that brought him into it. When sin is forgiven, hurt is restored. And that's why God can overlook. If God can forgive you, then you can be healed. He said, some, Jesus will say, go and sin no more. You are healed. Go and sin no more. Why? Many of the affliction of people is sin provoked. In 10 to 12, he said, but ye may know that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sake of the power of the passing. I say unto thee, Arise, take up thy bed, go thy way to thy house. And immediately he arose and took up the bed and went before before all. In so much that they were amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it in this fashion. God will give you a new fashion testimony. So please, health and vitality are things you can enjoy when you walk in righteousness. Anyway, today being the day of showers of blessing, I'm going to provoke unusual blessings upon your life today. And I decree that these proclaimed blessings will work in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now hear me, I don't claim to be a prophet. I'm not one. But I know I'm a bona fide son of a prophet with proofs. So, I stand in the stead of my father, the prophet of this commission, Bishop David Oyedepo. I proclaim blessings upon you today, and you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree the release of showers of blessing upon your life. Amen. Now that sin goes, blessing will flow. Amen. Therefore, be blessed. Amen. Everyone that has come here looking for the fruit of the womb, I command you to be fruitful. Whatever baby item you are brought here today, your children will wear them. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus, everyone that is choosing a date for marriage, you will marry that date in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will give you your God or their spouse in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those trying to marry the finances, their problem, I decree the heavens are open, resources will begin to flow in the name of Jesus. Everyone writing any exam, you will not write that exam twice. Everyone des desiring change of job promotion, receive your promotion now. Everyone desiring every form of help, receive any satisfaction in the name of Jesus. Those that brought the point of contact for their business, their careers, artists and professionals, you will not lack job to do in the name of Jesus. Everyone owing you, I command them to pay. Everyone desiring marital restoration, I command your marriage to be restored. Everyone in line for miracle babies, miracle children, receive your miracle children in the name of Jesus. No that are conceived will not cast your young. No one here will have their children eaten up in the name of Jesus. Everyone in life for devil employment receive your miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Whatever health issue you are brought here today, I command restoration. Oh, somebody is here who have lost one thing or the other before. I command right now restoration in the name of Jesus. My God will connect you with your destiny helpers. 
My God will connect you with our destiny promoters. Whatever you are looking for, you will find it quickly. You will eat of the fatness of the earth. And you will eat of the juice of heaven. My God bless you with the blessings of the womb. He bless you with the blessings of the breast. You will suck the meat of kings in the name of Jesus. You will eat in plenty and be satisfied. You will not labor in vain. You will not bring forth for trouble. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Rise on your feet. So with me I'm blessed. I'm exceedingly blessed. Now before we pray, I want to give opportunity to everyone that is not born again. First John 5, 12, the Bible says, He that had a son had life, and he that had not the son of God had not life. Without Jesus, we can't have access to the blessings of Abraham. But Jesus became a cause, because the written cause is that it's not going to trade, that the blessing of Abraham can come to all, that we may receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Galatians 3, 13 to 14. Someone is here today, you want to identify with Jesus. For he that had not the Son had no life. You want to identify with Jesus, the giver of life. You want to say, Jesus, save me. I want to be born again. Put your hand on your chest wherever you are. Pray this prayer of salvation with me. Somebody is here struggling with certain evil habits. You know it. Nobody knows you better than you know yourself. You've been hiding from yourself. Why not? Turn to Jesus and ask him to help you and deliver you. You can leave that evil habit. Put your hand on your chest, also pray this prayer with me. Set them, some people also, you gave your life to Jesus someday. You left because of cares of this world, pressures of life, deceitfulness of riches. And now you want to reconnect back to Jesus. Until you connect, you can collect. So why not pray this prayer of this dedication also as you put your hand on your chest with, and pray with me. Among this category of people, please let's pray right now. Pray, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I believe in my heart. You are the only son of God. You died and you resurrected on the third day. Today, from my heart and with my mouth, I confess you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. Jesus, write my name now in the book of life. Thank you for saving me. I rededicate myself to you. Thank you, Jesus, for accepting me back. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. I am born again. I'm a child of God. Please you pray that prayer with me. Wave your hand to Jesus wherever you are. Pray that prayer with me. Please wave your hand to Jesus. Wave your hand to Jesus. You pray that prayer with me. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please carry your Bible. Carry your Bible. Whatever you came to church with. Walk to the front of the altar. Please come. Come. Come the way you are. Jesus loves you the way you are. You are good for him the way you are. Create in me a clean heart. Appreciate your encounter service so anything can happen. The balance of your dominant testimonies can be released. Showers of blessings are waiting for you. So you are going to pray like this Father, visit me and bless me indeed. Let there be irreversible showers of blessing upon my life. 
upon my family upon my endeavors put every cause on a reverse matthew 7 7 to 8 ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and it shall be open to you everyone that asketh receive it and verse 10, verse 11 says um if you have been able to know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father give good things to them that ask are you ready to ask father visit me and bless me in death reverse every irreversible let every cause be reversed lord make me fruitful if you are that's what you're desiring give me my miracle job visit me lord lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart you know your desires lord let the showers of your blessing come upon me father in the name of jesus i ask of you today visit me shower me with your blessing bless me indeed enlarge my course jesus reverse every irreversible let your blessing be evident upon my life upon my family upon my affairs father let there be showers of blessing for there shall be showers of blessing no more mercy drops let the showers of blessing come lord let the showers come as torrent let them come let your showers of blessing come upon the work of my hand upon my family upon my ministry upon my finances upon my head by the blessing i receive heads by the blessing i receive my silent spirit please turn this way please turn this way by the blessing i receive prosperity by the blessing i receive all awareness by the blessing i receive restoration my family by the blessing i receive fullness of health every terrible and terrible disease with the straw every unclean spirit spirit of bondage be the straw every form of satanic siege on my life be ended father shower me with blessing visit me indeed give me a testimony to you be all the glory in jesus excellent name now lift up those items before him and lift your hands also father in the name of jesus as our faces are different so our needs whatever ever is a need in the life of everyone appeared here today whatever they ask of you do it in jesus name he said my people that come by my name shall humble themselves and pray i will heal their land lord whatever area of their life businesses career families that need healing let such be effected right now I decree, O oh Lord, let our smell be like the smell of the field. Bless of the Lord. I decree concerning you, every day of your life, be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish the earth. In the name of Jesus. Everyone in life for miracle marriage be settled. I decree for everyone desiring miracle job, miracle admission in school, miracle change of job, miracle visa. Oh, I decree your desires are satisfied. Every blessing of yours that is hanging, I command them to be released. Experience showers of blessing. Your children shall grow to be greater than you. I decree your generation bless. The Bible says the seed of the upright shall be mighty upon the earth. Your children shall be mighty upon the earth. You will not see a better last year. This year will end well for you. My God will crown you the year for you with goodness. Be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations.